this version of you has to die. But it's not that bad. It's not as bad as it seems. Let me just explain you why. Today's topic may seem a bit dark, but just hear me out because that may be the thing that you are missing, that you are lacking at the moment. Yes, yes, you heard it correctly. That's what exactly what I think about this topic. Let's talk about why this version of you has to die. Well, don't worry, I'm not talking literally, I'm not trying to start some kind of cult. No, it's not meant like that at all. Advocating for a literal death. Not about me, different channel. <laughs> Have you ever heard about metamorphosis? Growth requires change. If you want to grow, you need to change and all that stuff. Well, imagine yourself as a caterpillar. Cozy, comfortable, munching on the leaves. But to become a butterfly, the caterpillar, or you basically, need to undergo a crazy transformation from this to... Okay, no, I'm not gonna display. The caterpillar has to die as its old self and emerge as something it has never seen or been before. It's a completely different thing. It's completely different... I would say it's completely different creature right there. But it's the same thing. It just developed. It just grew. And this is true for personal growth as well. This version of you holding to your beliefs Playing small, keeping it simple, keeping it safe, not doing too much, not going over broad. It needs to die. It literally needs to die because let's just think about people who you want to be like. Imagine your idols. Imagine who are the top, top, top for you. For me, I am not saying I agree with that person as a person, but I really love what they achieved and I love the power that they're bringing everywhere. And that, that is Grant Cardone. I, for example, really admire some of his ideas and um, beliefs that he has and for me to be on his level or at least try to be on his level i cannot play it small he did it by not having this old me there he did it by breaking himself apart and building new persona that can be there so if you are right now playing small how are you even thinking? Like, how is that even an idea that you can achieve something by keeping same input? So just think of it as like who you want to become, who you want to be. What is the persona that you want to be like? What is your ideal you? If it's something like crazy, transformational, super rich person, super famous, super popular, super healthy person, would that person, that top, top, top person behave like you are? Would they? Do you think they really could achieve that by doing what you are doing? If the answer is no, then it's clear path for you what you need to work on, what you need to change. So first thing you need to do is identify your death weight. Not literally, I'm not talking about your body. No, I'm not talking about your body. Are you the procrastinator, the doubter, or the perfectionist? So if you are a procrastinator, are you always putting things off? This version needs to die by setting deadlines and taking actions today. If you are a perfectionist, are you paralyzed by fear of failure? This version needs to die by embracing the small things and celebrating the imperfections. That's how you kill the perfectionist. If you are a doubter, are you constantly doubting yourself, questioning yourself if you're doing it right, if you're doing it correctly, if you're doing it properly? Well, then here is how can you Cut it down, die it down, kill it. <laughs> I think I'm talking like aggressively, but my outfit, my like look does not seem like that type of pers person I'm trying to portray here. The doubter has to be killed by silencing the negative talk, negative self-talk and, and building self-confidence. So that's how you kill those things if you are any of these. Let me quickly tell you how you can rebirth. So you break it down yourself first, but then you rebirth yourself then you put yourself back to pieces it's uh sad when people break themselves down and then don't put enough time and patience to build themselves back up because they're just broken parts then and it's sometimes sad to see what happens to a person if they're not working on repairing themselves but in order to repair yourself you need to break yourself down that's unfortunately how it goes you know if you ever dealt with skincare how you can get rid of things that are popping up on your face you can use retinol what retinol does it kills off dead skin cells so that new ones regenerate and that may sometimes cause cause purging purging means that all the things that were stuck under your skin is coming out so at one moment before it gets better it will get much 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 worse even if you're doing all the right things it's gonna get worse before it get better in order to get 
rainbow. It first will have to heavily rain. Not heavily, but just you know, painting picture. It's gonna heavily rain, and only then we're gonna see a beautiful, beautiful, multicolored thing up in our skies, like a freaking miracle. You need to break yourself down to build yourself as a new caterpillar, <laughs> a new butterfly. So how to do that? Number one, identify your dead weight. So what is your problem? Are you a doubter? Are you a procrastinator? Or the perfectionist? So identify your dead weight and work to kill it. You need to kill it off. I don't know what you're saying about this. Kill it off. It's holding you back. You are holding yourself back. Be specific on what kind of aspect of your current self you are holding back and why. You need to work with yourself on this. Ain't no therapist, psychologist is gonna help you here. Of course they may, but there's no point to do that. There's no point to go some kind of professionals because that is inner work you can do with yourself just with piece of paper and pen and your mind, brain focused, answering your questions. Number two on how to build yourself back up is practice gratitude with what you have done so far, with what have you achieved so far, with what have you learned so far. Number three, one of the hardest parts, one of the hardest steps that people usually try to skip is embrace the discomfort. Most of the gr growth happens in the period of discomfort. How do you make yourself more confident? You first are uncomfortable, you are unconfident. How do you learn topic? You first don't know shit about that topic and you're just looking at handbook and you're like, I need to learn this by tomorrow. But then you do. Then you do, because you embrace that moment because you just have to do. Now, the sad thing is that you're not in school anymore. I'm not talking about literal school, right? If you're in school, it doesn't matter. This life is your school. There is no teacher though, but you have to take care of yourself. You need to take control of yourself. Unfortunate thing just happened, my camera died down, but I just want to finish the video so I get the message across clear. Fourth thing, focus on progress, not the perfection. Try to celebrate every step, no matter how small or big it is. Just acknowledge every step that you make and try to celebrate it. And fifth one, one of the most powerful ways on how you can build yourself back and hold yourself up to a standard, keep yourself motivated to build yourself up as a better new version of yourself, is to build a new identity you want to become, who you want to resonate with. Visualize your new self. That's the fifth point, that's the fifth advice from my side. Imagine the person that you want to be, the, the person that you want to become, and act accordingly. Hopefully this ignited something in you. If yes, I'm happy to hear that. If no, well, maybe you're a perfect person. Maybe you are on track to achieving everything. I don't know. I'm not sure, but hopefully this helped. See you later, alligator. <laughs> Bye.